Protect the Shield podcast. Let's get it. So as far as, you know, 2010 is going on, and you had mm-hmm. an immediate impact on that offense. Six in the league in scoring, 10th in total offense, second in the league in rushing. Um, and anyone that knows me knows one of my favorite players that ever throw on the Raider jersey was Darren McFadden. Oh I, look, I, I, I look at him like um, Derrick Rose, man. If, mm-hmm. if he wouldn't have got hurt, I mean, I love watching him play. He was as big as he was, as fast as he was. He would run you over. He'll run around you. He had them little skinny legs, but that boy can run, man. <laughs> how was it? Uh, you know, how was it like coaching him? You know, it, it, it's really interesting you brought that up. When I walked in the building, I could tell that there were some guys that were starving for success. Mm-hmm. You know, I looked at Darren McFadden. You know, Al had gave me the rundown on every player on offense. <laughs> and and I knew who they were, where they were drafted, uh, what the expectation was. I'll never forget the first time in the weight room because I went downstairs because Jamarcus Russell was working out. And I wanted to see it. Oh, Darren, wow. McFad- Darren McFadden. Um, uh, Bush, Michael Bush, and my man Marcel Reese were downstairs. I'll never forget this conversation. So I walk over to Darren. And I say, Darren, tell me what runs do you like to run? And he goes, oh, coach, man, you know, you would have to be around to know how Darren talks. And Darren yeah. says, coach, man, he goes, I don't mind running the zone play, but coach, I want to go oh, downhill. Power. He goes, yeah. He goes, I want to go downhill. I want to run power. I want to ISO. He goes, and I'll run zone every now and then and flip me the ball. Every yeah. now and then, Coach, he said, because they can't get me. Yeah. And I said, okay. He goes, no, nah, Coach, you ain't going to be able to do that. I go, Darren, yes, we will. We'll, we'll do that. He goes, nah. I go, I promise you, that's what we'll do. And he says, no, Coach, they're going to make you run zone because everything was zone, zone, zone. So I'm leading into the story because this is what happened. So I never forget, uh, we put in all these other things, but they weren't going to go in first because the team was a zone team. Yeah. So the, fir- the first practice, the first OTA practice, I wanted the guys to hit the ground running and do things that they were familiar with so yeah. that they would feel like, OK, coach is not just going to change everything. Mm-hmm. So we started off running zone and we had a really good practice. And I'll never forget, I got home later on that night, about nine o'clock, nine thirty. My phone rings. It's Al Davis. It's Monica <laughs> against Al Davis. He says, Hugh Jackson. What the F was that? I go, huh? He goes, I didn't hire you to run zone. I didn't bring you here to run zone. I said, Al, that was just the first install. He says, I don't, this is the only time I've ever had a conversation with Al Davis that was difficult. He says, I didn't bring you here to run that. I brought you here because you have all this skill with power and unbalance and all these and that's why i said that's coming he goes "Uh uh-uh i want it now click (laughs) i got got in my car because he never said bye i got in my car (laughs) drove back to the facility changed all the rest of the installations (laughs) then we moved forward and that was the that was the history of it oh my gosh that is that is hilarious because just again as a fan, we always heard how much Tom Cable loved the zone. You know, like that was his mm-hmm. thing, man. Was. And just seeing seeing McFadden, we're like, he's a downhill power guy. Yes. Oh yes. man, that's yes. wow. Yeah, that, no, that, these guys, and they were you think of him and Michael Bush and the influence of Marcel Reese and what he did. I mean, he really made the fullback position different than what it is today because of his ability to split out and catch the ball and make plays with his legs and his and his hands and it was just there was a group of very very talented players there that could run like a dickens that were hungry they listen and the thing that really made it go was the offensive line those guys were phenomenal yeah, yeah. they were phenomenal yeah had some big boys up there had some big boys 